What's up? It's your girl, Little Fresh Sam. Today we are here to give you some tips on how to upgrade your life right now. Stop letting people dictate your life. Um, it sounds very simple, but it's not. Just talking to a friend over the weekend who wants to quit her job, but her family doesn't agree and is going to be very disappointed if she does. But you know what? Her family doesn't live her life every day. As much as it is important to make your family proud and, you know, to make them happy, you have to make yourself happy and make sure that's your main focus and your number one priority because nobody else is going to make sure you're happy except for you, you know. And so um, stop letting people dictate your life. Something else that I had to learn and um, I feel like a lot of people out there doing what they love may deal with on a daily is trying to explain you know what we do to parents or friends who don't understand it it gets exhausting after you know telling so many people and they're like oh cool or like did you make any money or you know just not good feedback so one thing i've learned is stop doing that just have the satisfaction inside internally and be good with that you know number two stop caring what people may or may not think about you as long as you love yourself and you like what you see and internally is great, you know, your heart is good, that you can't show, right? That you, people can't see that. Um, so as long as you know in, internally and inside what you are and ha happy with that, that's all that matters. I wear exactly what I want every day and I do get tons of crazy stares. I finally conquered that. I don't care. Like, I don't even see them anymore. Um, but that's just one way, you know, we have to literally eliminate all of those opinions out of our life and just pretend they don't exist don't care what people think simple if you start now and just know you're good you know know what you think about yourself and if that's good that's all that matters make your own self happy stop relying on people and things to do that for you i know it's very hard i'm working on it myself every day and you know we're all a work in progress so i'm sharing these tips because once you are aware and you know, it's very easy to start getting in the habit of doing these things every day. So, you know, stop relying on things and people to make you happy. Whether that's your family, your friends, your significant other, make yourself happy. Number four, start right now. Whatever it is that you've been wanting to do, been talking about, been telling your friends or family that you want to do but you haven't started, start right now. It's like, I'm not even going to like... You, okay, years are going to pass and you're going to still be right here if you don't start right now. Um, it's crazy. I remember, you know, I've always heard like when you leave um, home and then you come back and everybody's the same and the city's the same. It's crazy because I experienced that. I left LA, was living there. I would come home and visit my parents and I would see all the same people doing the same thing in my hometown. And it was just, it was disappointing. But they, you know, chose their life. And so what I'm saying is start right now, whatever it is you wanna do, start right now, like this is the time. Um, and if you don't start right now, you're never gonna start. Those are four very simple ways to start upgrading your life right now. All right, three tips how to upgrade your life right now through fashion. So one, number one, stop wearing things you don't feel good in. If you don't feel good, you don't look good. Um, I can't tell you how many times I, I go downtown and I see these girls dressed in these like little dresses and their big old heels and they look horrible because they don't feel it. Like, they don't feel comfortable and it just shows, you know? So make sure you feel good and you will look good. All right, number two, stop waiting for special days or events to wear your favorite clothes. What are you waiting for? Like wear that shit right now. Like it's only gonna sit in your closet if you don't, right? So um, I had a client tell me the other day that he waits to wear his favorite outfits for special events because he doesn't have many of them, okay? Cool, so I'm a stylist, and you might not be, but I can help you mix and match that one outfit to five different outfits. So it's just all about mixing and matching um, to like extend the life of those outfits and those clothes. Um, but don't wait for a, a special event. I mean, you have all this great clothes in your closet, I'm sure, and you wait, but don't, because you need to wear that right now. <laughs> Um, all right, number three. It doesn't cost a fortune to look and feel great. Um, I find 95% of my clothing at the thrift store. I don't look, I don't care what the name brand says. I don't care how much it is. I just go and I pick what looks good and what stands out in my mind. Um, and I can't tell you how many clients I've taken to the thrift store and gotten like five full bags for like $100. 
Um, I'm pretty infamous for my ability to thrift, but so can you. So just go out, find stuff that you love, regardless of how much, because it's going to be like $4, and regardless of what that label says, go out and find stuff that you love. I hope this was helpful for you today, and we will have some more tips and information for you next week. Thank you.